Concentration units in chemistry. Why are there so many different concentration units? Why sometimes do we work with mass percentages or parts per million or parts per billion, mole fraction, molarity, molality? Why are there so many concentration units? That's what we're going to talk about quickly in this video. They all come from the fact that the parameters that are involved or must be expressed as part of a concentration i.e. the amount of solute on top or the amount of solution on the bottom of the ratio can be expressed in different ways. Total amount of solute whose concentration you're setting out to describe could be discussed in terms of the mass of it, the moles of it, or the volume of it. Similarly, the solution could be expressed in terms of the mass, the moles, or the volume. And actually, in some cases, it's not the the amount of solute is always expressed in the numerator but it's the amount of solvent that's in the denominator the solvent but can always be described in those same fundamental three ways mass percentage where does it come from well mass percentage is when the amount of solute is is expressed in terms of its mass and the amount of solution is expressed in terms of its mass so there's this formula and this would be a mass percentage so we would take this ratio mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution and if it was just a two component solution there would just be the solute and the solvent together but that ratio then multiplied by a factor of 100 and parts per million where do they come from well Really, they're just mass ratios, the same kind of mass ratio, but they're multiplied by different numbers. The parts per million takes that mass ratio, and it's useful in cases when that mass ratio is fairly small. The mass of the solute is about one millionth the mass of the solution. So you multiply it by a million to get a number that's easier to work with, to read, write down, etc. But really, it's just a basic mass ratio, but it's just multiplied not by 100, you know, which would give you a mass percentage, but it, you multiply it by a factor of a million. And so similarly, I'm sure you can imagine now that in a part per billion, you start with the same mass ratio, but you multiply it by a factor of a billion. And so again, and so you would use parts per billion, you're just taking that mass ratio and you're multiplying it by a bigger number if that ratio is, is even smaller and needs to be sort of amplified by a larger number to bring it into the range that the number itself is easy to write down and work with, etc. Mole fraction. Perhaps you know about this one. Let's just review. Mole fraction is when the amount of solute whose concentration you're talking about is expressed in terms of moles. The total amount of solution is also expressed in terms of its moles. And that one typically is just left as the basic ratio with a value between 0 and 1. Molarity, one that's perhaps most common in chemistry, at least in academic situations, in the courses you, you're taking. The amount of the solute of this uh, nice ratio has the amount of solute expressed in terms of its moles. The amount of solution is expressed in terms of volume volume specifically in units of liters. So moles per liter, that's where that comes from. Molality. Solute expressed in terms of moles. And in this one it's the amount of solute that expressed that is expressed in terms of its mass. And specifically in kilograms. So that's it. This short little video just recapped five different units of concentration. I hope this quick little video sort of gives you, helps you have an idea of where they all come from and how they relate to one another.